Happy Thanksgiving! Abby and I are at the Bowmanville Valley Conservation Center and we're going to go see if we can see some salmon spawning at the fish ladder. Come along with us. You can see we've changed our clothes. Winter is coming. <laughs> the weather has taken a drastic turn. I think it's like eight or nine degrees today Celsius. You'll have to do your own math to tell me what that is in Fahrenheit. But we've got uh, lots of layers on, including my polar fleece long johns. <laughs> Let's go hike. Do you want to tell us about your layers today? Okay, so today we got sweater, coat, and a long sleeve under this. Long sleeve shirt under your sweater. Okay. And then we have pants. Thick track pants. And some stylish rain boots. Stylish rain boots. These look like Doc Martens, but they're kind of plasticized, which is kind of cool. And you have socks on. And extra socks in your pack? Yeah. Yeah, and an extra sweater or something? Yeah. Okay, let's go. What'd you find? Um, it looks like... Oh, that used to be a fish. That's a fish head. And some fish bones. You see its fins there? Yeah. Cool. Come see what I found over here. I mean, I both found something at the same time. It's been squashed. It's a woolly bugger caterpillar. Um, apparently... That orange band, the size of it, tells you how cold the winter is going to be. And I can never remember if a bigger band means a colder winter or a warmer winter. But this little guy is not going to tell us anything more. R.I.P. little caterpillar. Okay, so I thought the potato was the weirdest thing I've ever seen on the trail. But now I think these guys are the new winners. <laughs> We're going to... What about the boots? Oh yeah, jeepers. I didn't even see those there. Perfectly good <laughs> pair of rubber boots. What is going on? That's bizarre. All right, let's. Kind of fearful to see what we're gonna find when we go down here. So we'll go down to the creek first, and then we'll go over to the fish ladder. We've never been to the fish ladder. We have been to this creek before down here. The fish were not running when we came that time, so we thought we'd come again. I don't know if the spawn is still happening or if it's over. There's one right there. And that is a big fish. So pretty here. The road is just up there. It's sort of north of Bowmanville. There's another fish over here. A couple of them. Come here. There's a bunch of them over here. They're dead. They're going to be stinky, but one there. Somebody's garbage. There's another one. That's got his eyes all gone. The carcass over there. We haven't seen any spawning yet, and we might not. That's okay. I'm gonna bring it back over here. Do this. Abby's over here dancing, singing, having a wonderful time. <laughs> These guys appear to be trying to catch them with a net, which you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to fish for salmon anymore right now. And the conservation area officer was just up with us. Yeah. Alright, so we have come down the trail. Oh, More footwear. Only one this time, though. We'll see how many shoes we can find today. Is that going to be our challenge? Yeah. <laughs> so we are down from the parking lot, down from the bridge that we were just under, and uh, we're following the trail through the forest that will hopefully take us to the fish ladder. There's, there's something under it. Hmm. Yep. Just leave it. Like I don't know what that is. It's, it looks pretty old though. Yeah. yeah, it might be like an old well or something. Pretty neat, hey? Yeah. So as we were um, talking to those fishermen and telling them that the fishing season is closed here, the conservation officer showed up and they're going to get a great big fat ticket. He was up the top of the hill filming and taking pictures and getting evidence and uh, I don't know if they know the regulations or not, but if you're going to go fishing somewhere, you really need to know them because they're going to pay some hefty fines, I suspect, for that. Gotta follow the rules. 
the Atlantic salmon fishery collapsed several years ago and they're trying to recover the fishery around here and they put these regulations in place so that they can have their babies and we can have more salmon. Just leave them be. Uh, in this part of the world, in this part of Ontario, if you want to go salmon fishing right now, you can, but you have to go south of like Highway 2, south of the CN Railroad tracks, down closer to Lake Ontario. Not here. <laughs> this is a pretty nifty little area. There's all these big mounds of wood, of uh, dirt. They've all got these holes in them. Is that a rock? It feels like a rock, but it's dirt. It is beautiful in here. Just we gorgeous. The yeah, we could have brought the hammock, but I think our packs are big enough with Thanksgiving leftovers. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Hey, we're just going to follow the path until we get to whatever we get to. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that was used to be a bridge, maybe? Or maybe it's a ramp for mountain bikers. This looks like a great spot for mountain biking. And it looks to be that there's lots of ramps around here. I bet that's what it is. Like, look at that. That's clearly ramps. I don't think I can run up there. I'm going to go down the side. <laughs> you going to try? Okay. She did it! You're the queen of the castle! Woo! Whoa, yeah, it's kind of creepy in here. Should we maybe go somewhere else? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. It does look like a shelter over there. Fire pit. That is a shelter. Isn't that nifty? Whoa, it's full, it's of, full garbage. of garbage. Huh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going, get out of here. So that's something we want to avoid today. Cedars have pretty shallow roots. And they all tip over in the wind and it is a pretty windy day today. Let's see, here's a creek over here. I think there's another trail that goes that way. Let's go check the creek out over here, see if we can see some fish. Look at them all over there. There's a whole bunch of them over there. I remember this place, Mom. Yeah, looks like the rapids are up that way. You want to go that way a little bit? We might have to go back on the trail up top if it gets too muddy down here. Go. It's okay for now. It's a little bit muddy. Yeah, look at them all. There's a fish mouth right there. Spine. Look at them all. Hey, we knew that we were in the right place because we heard the birds. Hey, they're just resting. They would have had to get up that little section and then they'll rest here till they get some more energy. And then take off. Yeah. I'm guessing that uh, even if you caught them now, they probably wouldn't taste very good, but it's definitely not worth the fines. They like can take your house, they can take your car. We take our fishing regulations really seriously. And if you get caught breaking them, it is big trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That is a big one. <laughs> you want to keep following down there? Yeah. The rapids are over here. It's cool to watch them come up the rapids. There's some in there right now. It's many, okay, do you want me to go first? No. Okay, you go. Yep. Yeah. Fish head. 
Okay, just take your time so you don't slip, okay? Because it is pretty muddy. Yeah. There's a big gut right in there. Yeah, let's watch them. Okay, they're gonna get their energy and they're gonna try to make it up. That guy didn't make it. It's hard work. Yeah. There are so many of them. That's great. That's great news. They can appear and have their babies, and then there'll be even more of them. Yeah, there's another one over there. This is so cute. I think this is the most fish I've ever seen. In one spot? We've watched the salmon spawn before, but it's kind of hard to remember. It's been a, it's been a few years. Yep, these are rapids. Oh, oh, no. oh, they're going back down there. Oh, all that work to get up here. Now they're going they're all the way back down there. Energy. There he goes. He just turned around. I think they probably just get tired, and the current's so strong it just takes them away. So they go back down there and rest, and come up and try it again. Yeah, it's really hard work. Left their old nut here. Not great for the nature. We might take that with us. We're gonna take this trail. We're still hoping to make it to the fish ladder. It's really cool watching them go up the rapids. The fish ladders are pretty neat. Are you having fun? Yeah! Yeah? Good, I'm glad. Alright, well, doesn't look too high. Looks like we can get under it. Go ahead. Be careful, don't get too close. Oh, oh my goodness. You get one of those little broken off branch spots, tear your coat or tear your backpack. That was a whole $50. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, looks like another fallen tree to go under. Mm -hmm. If you want to fish up here, you have to work hard for it. Yeah. Now do you hear the train? Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. Back on the trail. Alright, we're going up, up, up. This would be pretty sketchy in the winter. Pretty sketchy in the mud. There goes the train. Makes you think of Bradley. Bradley and Laura, I hope you're having an amazing Thanksgiving. Okay, just take your time. Yeah, we definitely don't want to fall down in that. Good thing your boots have good treads on them. I feel like we're not on the trail. There weren't really any more options over there, though. There we go. That's a pretty good workout. There we go. Oh, yeah, it looks like. The trail probably that way and we just missed it. That's okay. We'll have to remember that if we come back in bad weather. I don't want to slip down on that embankment. Carpet. Fire pit. I think the weather got over here. Tarp. Well, let's keep moving. I'm going to back. I'm not sure if the trail this way. 
That train is loud, isn't it? What's that noise? Dogs? Down a little bit farther, I guess. It's hard to hear. It sounds like dogs. But it also could be the squeaky wheels of the train. So we're back out to the creek and we're walking along the creek right now. There's a couple guys around the corner over there that are trying to get the salmon by throwing rocks at them. We're just going to leave them alone and bypass them and continue up the creek. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at the colors on this one. Yeah. He looks fresh. Okay. Well, I think he's been there for a while. He's got a dead fly on him. Yeah. Let's keep seeing what we can see. Whoops! It is slippery, so careful. It's not a big incline, but it's definitely muddy. Oh, another one. Yeah, another one. There come the... Right over here, Ab. Look right over there. A whole bunch of them in there. You guys run from the... the guys are coming behind us with their rocks to try to kill the fish. I really want to say something to them, but I definitely don't want a confrontation. So we're going to try to make our way back onto the trail. What? About the guys? Oh, I liked when the guys were like, hello! Yeah, they were really friendly. They were really friendly, but... Trouble. And they're loud and obnoxious, and they're hurting the fish, and... Oh, hopefully it'll be more peaceful when we get up here. This is a very unmarked trail. Thankfully, it's following right beside the creek so we'll be able to find our way back never been here before but it's beautiful we'll definitely come back here again and we should definitely bring Bradley and Laura here right I think they'd love this super cool especially in the summer when the salmon aren't out there the kids can play in the creek there's lots of spots for that this is pretty awesome oh slippy part Went downhill. Just take your time and do little baby steps. Okay? That's it. Perfect. Right, if we came down here in the summer and climbed down there and spend the day out there. I don't know if we're almost there. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of them out there right now. That's awesome to see so many. All right, let's keep going. All right, this one we're gonna have to go over. Look at all the turkey tail on there. It's full of turkey tail. Good job. All right, the tricky downhill part. Just take your time. Oh, we're going to have to cross the creek. Oh, no! I think we brought extra socks. Hmm. All right. It's going to take two hands to hold on to that. I'll hold your stuff. Okay, you want to try to use that thing with your hands. Get your foot on the rock and the rock. Okay? I got it. Um, maybe I should take my jacket oh, off. Oh, your travel mug is leaking on me. <laughs> Oops. I'm taking my jacket off just in case I do fall. Say again? I'm taking my jacket off just in case I do fall because I don't want it to get wet. Okay. Maybe maybe your hoodie? Maybe just fall. <laughs> it's not a very big creek, but it's a pretty good step to get down there. 
and it's muddy. Uh, maybe what we should do is find a stick to hold on to, like a walking. All right, I found this bunch of brush here, and a nice sturdy stick to help us get across here. All right, looking good. You're not going to die. Okay, let's focus. Put the stick down first. And then use that for to help you with your balance. Try to put maybe one foot on the, the log and one foot and then on the rock. Or do it that way. <laughs> there you go. You can just walk through the creek in bare feet. That's even smarter. What a smart girl. Good job. Gold! All right. Boots and socks, ready? I'm going to throw them up kind of behind you so they don't go in the creek. Or maybe it'll be in front of you. We'll see. There. Don't throw my backpack. I'm coming. so cold. It's so cold, Mom. Go. Okay. There we go. Hey, we made it. No, the only thing that didn't make it is my gloves. Oh, yeah, we'll have to get your gloves. I'll get them. I don't think there's no point because they're soaked. Yeah, but that's okay. We can dry them out. I mean, someone else can use them. Bro, that's not stable. Where are we going to put them? to another little spot on the creek here. No sign of the loud boys. A bunch of fish over there doing their thing. Beautiful in here. We scared off some birds when we got in here. Just little ones. I don't know what kind they were, but this is gorgeous out here today. Still very, very green. That's because most of the trees around here seem to be cedar, but there's also lots of other ones. We've got some yellow and some red coming. Peaceful. Can't do a video around here without an airplane. <laughs> Beautiful. We are expecting rain in a few hours, so we're going to keep our eye on that sky. We do have ponchos with us, and we both have some extra clothing. In case we get soaked, we'll sit here, we'll have a hydration break, maybe a snack, and then we'll get on our way, see if we can make it to the fish ladder today. Another one just joined them, he's pretty feisty. This little guy at the end here, watch my finger. Little guy just joined them up there. I shouldn't say little, it's pretty big. Oh, this one changes his mind. Take a little rest over there. So, right. I'm going to show you guys what's in my lunch. Okay, Abby bought lunch for us today. The this is a two person smorgasbord in here. In the first pocket, you see some hand warmers. Yeah, chemical hand warmers. Really good if somebody gets soaked in weather like this. And then you that wind it. is chilly. And you open it. Okay. And you see the apple. An apple. A banana. A banana. Two yogurts, Two a peach yogurt and a strawberry yogurt. Peach yogurt and strawberry yogurt. Trish, my son's girlfriend, is allergic to peaches, so we can only have them on adventures like this. We don't have them at home anymore. Mandarin orange cups. Mandarin orange cups. Applesauce. Applesauce. Apple and strawberry and blueberry. Okay. And then 
some gravy. Gravy from Thanksgiving dinner last night. It is Thanksgiving Monday here in Ontario in Canada. Uh, a lot of people are having their dinner today. We had our dinner yesterday because Trish and Jonas are going to her nan's house today for their family gathering. So today we're feasting on leftovers. Okay, keep going. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. I told you it would spill. Okay, that's all right. And. And my bento box. Bento box. Well, aren't you ready? Ta da! Look at that. Turkey, potatoes. Turkey, mashed dressing. potatoes. My amazing dressing. Some cranberry sauce and some green bean casserole. Yeah, that is Thanksgiving leftover feast right there. Mm mm mm. We have never made green bean casserole before. I don't know why not, but we'll be making it all the time now. It's delicious. My turkey I thought was overcooked, but it turned out pretty tasty, didn't it? mashed potatoes. Abby was in charge of those and she did a really great job. Homemade cranberry sauce we made together and that is my amazing dressing. In there is breadcrumbs which I put a whole bunch of poultry seasoning on and added a little bit of extra garlic and then I added onion and celery and mushrooms, cashews and a sliced up Honeycrisp apple or diced up I guess and fresh cranberries and sausage pork sausage oh it is delicious I right, sometimes stuff it into the bird and make stuffing this year I made a great big uh, corningware tray of it in the oven so we're calling it dressing and uh, whatever you call it it is delicious homemade gravy in there that's gonna need to be heated up it's not gonna do us much good right now but that looks amazing and we have our fruit and yogurt feast over here. Did you bring toilet paper? <laughs> Feeling a little chilly? Abby's putting on both <laughs> her spare pairs of socks. <laughs> I brought two as well. Oh, there goes another one, super speedy. Um, actually, I'm putting the cranberry sauce in all three of my socks on. Uh, just for sitting here for now? That's a good no. idea. No. <laughs> Okay, uh, where are your wet ones? You don't have any wet ones, right? Because you took them off? It's just your gloves that are wet. And they're over here. All right, we'll stick those in a Ziploc bag and stick them in my bag. Take them home and they can dry out there because they're not gonna dry out here, not without a fire. And we cannot have a fire in here. Uh, most of our conservation areas, no fires. No fires, this is not Crown Land. Crown Land, you can usually have a fire, but this is not that. So no fires to warm up. Gotta be smart, stay dry, not get. Good idea to take that off and roll up your pants so you're not soaked. All right, have a snack. Then we'll get moving again, see if we can get to the fish ladder. This is really cool to watch. Nature is super amazing. It is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. That might be the best dressing I've ever made. So good. Every year I improvise a little bit and things don't get measured and so it's kind of a crapshoot how it turns out. This is perfect. <laughs> hey, one quick PSA. If you want to come here and find the Bowmanville Fish Ladder, you need to Google Bowmanville Valley Conservation Area. There's a parking lot at the bottom of Baseline Road and you're going to take this trail that we're taking like a kilometer, a kilometer and a half or whatever south and you'll get to the fish ladder apparently. We're not there yet but we're on the trail. If you Google Bowmanville fish ladder and follow the directions you will end up on a dead-end road between a senior's home 
and an abandoned factory that is all fenced off, no trespassing, no way to get through, and nowhere near the creek and the fish and the fish ladder. You're welcome. <laughs> we so we just heard a thunk over there, and it was a walnut <laughs> falling out of a tree over there, which is one of the reasons why we are sitting over here. All the trees in there, back in there, are shaken in this wind. And this walnut tree over here keeps dropping walnuts down here. <laughs> and we definitely don't want one of these to fall on our heads. <laughs> always, always pay attention to where you set up camp, even if you're just going to be here for an hour having your lunch. We don't want to get clunked on the head with black walnuts, do we? No, thank you. Check that out. I think it might be a nodule of flint. These rivers around here used to be used for transportation, transporting goods way back a long time ago, and even though flint isn't native to this area, they did use it back then, so sometimes you can find it in here. It just fell off a ship or went down with a shipwreck or whatever. Pretty awesome. We're gonna take it home, clean it up, see if we can find what's in there. What, what are you looking for? Hearts? Yeah, we always try to find hearts on our walks. Sometimes you can find them in the rocks, and sometimes in the plants, and sometimes on the ground. Oh yeah, look at that little baby snail. I wonder if there's actually something Rock. I am gonna go home with rocks in my pockets, as every good parent yeah. and rock hound does. Boom. <laughs> that one doesn't right. right behind you. Yeah, he did. He just came up right behind me. Just going to have a little breather there before he takes off. Awesome. Fishermen. Fishermen. Always garbage. You can't go anywhere where people fish and not find garbage. Hey, like, come on. Look at this beautiful spot. Why would you leave garbage out here? I just don't understand. This is what happens when the 10 year old tries to rinse out a water bottle. the trail. That's where we were. And this is where we are. Let's keep following it down here. See if we can get to that fish ladder today. All right. Up and over. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. Are you nice and warm now? Yeah. My feet are extra warm. Your feet are extra warm? I still have my feet warmers in there. You have foot warmers? You put your hand warmers in, in your boots? Yeah. With how many pairs of socks? Two? Yeah. Okay. All right. Lead the way. <sighs> oh, look at how many. Look at them all down there. Wow! Now look at all of that. That's scary. Yeah, that is scary. So stick off to the left side, right? Hey, the problem is that the embankment underneath, we're not so far it comes in, so you don't want to go to the edge. You want to stay closer to the forest. Okay? That's it. Look at them all. There's so Wait, many there down there. Thing on his head? Maybe he was in a factory. <laughs> maybe it was the leaf. Maybe it was one of the leaves, or maybe he cut himself jumping up the rocks. 
They have to jump up all those rocks on the rapids to get up here. It's very, very hard work and dangerous. We see now some of them don't make it, right? And they're all beat up and they're getting old and they're getting ready to die. It's a really, really tough journey. Alright. It's that dog that we saw wanted to get one of those. Maybe. Let's keep going and see if we can catch up with them again. A uh, woman and her young son and dog came by where we were sitting by the, the little outlet up there and we helped them across with our stick and my strong arm. That looks pretty cool. See them when we get up here. This is a big one. Uh, yeah, I go right there. Yeah. Here, hold this. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's keep going. We're not going down there. We'll go this way. We're going to try to get to the fish ladder. No stop until we get there, okay? Alright. We have, I think we have an elephant following us after that turkey. <laughs> <laughs> it is really pretty, isn't it? why we've never come up this trail before. We were at the trailhead before. We've been down by the bridge where those people were fishing. I don't know. It's that way or that way. All right, we'll try it this way. Yep, we're getting close. Getting close. You can see the building over there. Another bridge, maybe? No, that's not it. It's something though. Let's go check it out. 